Hello and welcome to Tykes TV. Uh, Neil is here. I've got Jacob, uh, Young Peter Bray Fan TV. Um, we're going to have a bit of a talk. Obviously, a rearranged fixture been moved because the England World Cup uh, draw kind of thing. How it's happened. So, Jacob, great to have you on, mate. Thank you very much. Again, not a problem. Yeah, not a problem. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's been a while. Uh, people that's been watching, you'll know that Jacob been on last season as well. We both suffered uh, relegation. We'll move on swiftly from back into uh, League One. It's looking a bit rosier. So, as your season gone up to now, and Jacob, you know, is it more or less where you'd expected to be? It's probably where I expected us to be in terms of position, like, but of course, we're in fourth in the table. I don't know how we're fourth in the table because, well, our, the re, our waveform has not been successful this year. Um, mm. Losing like seven out of our eight games, so right. that needs to work on, but. We're still in a good position in the league, so. Yeah, we had a <clears throat> bit of a tricky start uh, playing some of, you know, it's a big side, but seeing what we're up there, Plymouth, Ipswich, Sheffield Wednesday, you know, Bolton kind of thing. We kind of turned it around. We went six games unbeaten, but then we, we it sounds like, had a bit of a blip. Um, it was interesting to see as well how the manager, Michael Dufford, react, but also the players. I think I probably like it at Peterborough and all. When, when things are going okay, you kind of see players playing with confidence. But when it's not, if they seem to be struggling for form or struggling for like a basic pass, if you know what I mean. And we kind of come out of that like now, or I'm hoping so. We had a couple of good results. Um, I think, if I'm being honest, I, I, I think we're six at the minute. I thought we'd have been probably round about 10th or just there or there about. So I'm expecting that because we've obviously struggled with the strikers. I mean, uh, Collingwood Draw and Morris doing business at Lewton Town at the minute. So I think Duff himself has got the best out of players we've got to work with. Uh, don't know about you, Jacob, but I think January transfer window, I think there'll be, well, I'm wanting a few additions mainly striking areas. Is there any positions you'd like to see strengthening in uh, January transfer window? Well, McAnthony's come out and already said that there is going to be business for us in January, but not much incomings. Okay. There'll be more outgoings because, you know, we'll be for a club like us, we'll be looking more like if we want to sign players more from the National League. Like, of course, we signed um, Eppel Mason Clark from Bar in the summer. He's been absolutely quality since mm. he's joined us. Strong, um, quick. Uh, it's a, a very good pull. But, of course, if we want to outgoings, you see, like, some maybe uh, loans or, like, players like Joel Randall, um, Joe mm. Taylor, like, all the youngsters who are progressing through the club. So, yeah, hopefully we can get them bit of experience um, towards the end of the season. Yeah, I mean, I don't know who your standout player is. You know, you mentioned a few players here, like, but I think for me, standout player for Barnsley has been Luke Connell. I think he's been uh, playing pretty decent. Um, for me, Mads Anderson as well at back. I think he's been solid for us. Other players might have come in for us, which is like James Norwood, uh, McCarthy's out injured all season. Luke Thomas has picked up an injury. He was coming into form. So, again, we've had a few injuries, but I think every club has that kind of thing. So, for me, there's been a couple of players. And it, it's like a, a kind of a rebuild job. And it's interesting to see Michael Duff. He knows the league. He knows what to get out of players. And it's I can see a, a change in the difference in players compared to beginning of the season. Have you seen a... A difference in some of the players as season's gone on. Have you have you think? Oh yeah, you know, is a, a standout kind of player for me at the minute. Well, it was Ricky J Jones until we suffered an injury in October because it was a run of like four to six games. Ricky was on mm -hmm. another level. Um, of course, we've got we've got a, a good squad in for this league. One player for me is downgraded, Ronnie Edwards. Um, okay. Because we, well, we were looking to sell him in the summer. He nearly joined the Palace in, um, on deadline day. Mm. But 
since he's come into this league, it's been like more tougher for him because he hasn't had like I thought more more teams trying to press him and like mm. let not let him play out from the back. So it's been tough for him. Our standout player so far this year is probably Clark Harris or yeah. Mason Clark. Yeah. Yeah, um, I've, I've been watching Addis on uh, goals on you know when it's showing you goals and Addis for me has been is is, is always a player here what is just going to put it back in there. It, it seems to be a player just full of confidence at the minute. Mm. Do you think you'll do well to keep holding him? Do you think there'll be any clubs rumored to be looking at him because he's like banging goals in his own form or you know money talks kind of thing, doesn't it? You know, that's going to be well, a, a, a thing. Well, there wasn't really much interest in the summer because mm. he still scored 11 goals in the championship, which is brilliant for him, considering he's had injury problems and fitness problems. Mm. But I doubt it because, well, one, we were, our owners will be reluctant to sell him. And two, he's a very important player for us because if, if of course, we have Jack Marr at the club as well, who started the season well, but he's not been playing because we've had a different formation. Mm. Because we played, we played like a four five at the back and it wasn't working. Now we've changed for four three three and it's looking much better, more narrow. Um but if we if we were to lose Clark Harris, it would be a massive loss to the team because he's captain of the club, very important, like high profile player for mm. communication and all that. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about formation, uh as it altered much because since Duff's come in, uh, he likes playing three at back. He likes for two wing, you know, two wingers, and he likes playing two up front. In some games, he's been playing three up front and his alter formation. But I think it battled mainly when Luke Thomas were out injured and it didn't kind of fit. It didn't work. I think we're going through that bit of a blip where we couldn't seem to get a win, get a goal, and I think he was trying just trying different personnel there. Now he's gone back to three at back, two wing backs, three in midfield. We like. You know, like an oppressing midfield like Adam Phillips, it seems to be fun. Uh, you know, scoring goals now at that local pocket and two up front. So, I think, yeah, for me, it, it's good when you want when it when it's away from home for Barnsley. I think when we're away from home, we seem to get that bit of pressure, but we also seem to play quick on wings and try to get it forward in attacking third. I think for Barnsley, the amount of times what we've crossed ball into boxing has been no one there. And that's, for me, why I'm wanting that bit of a, such like an Aris kind of player. If he's in and around that area, if if a ball's going to come in for a chance, he's going to put it back at net. So for me, that's what I'm wanting, that kind of player to be just turning every shot on goal and take it. And that, I think for me, we're, we're just lacking at the minute. So you've just mentioned there, you know, he, he looked solid before at back. Is that a is that a thing that you've put on? What can I say? Is it been a, a contribution to we in league? Do you see saying there's a more attacking threat with that? With our with our type of players, yes, because of course Grant McCann used that formation when he was at Holt when they won the league. So true. Yeah. It is it is looking better, but we still need more. I. Personally, if we want to go up this year, I would get more another striker. So if so, because it depends if what about Clark Harris and Murray getting injured. If we don't really have anyone there mm. to have the firepower in um, and play in as a lonely striker with the two wingers. Mm. So, yeah. interesting that. And like I said, in League One, we amount of games coming up thick and fast. Then FA Cup and that, there's a lot of fixtures where players can pick up niggles, and we've we've kind of experienced that at Barnsley. So going into the game, uh, Jacob, obviously, you know, it's on a, on a Friday night at Peterborough. Have you got any, or is there any fresh injury concerns in your players going into the game, or is it more or less a, a clean bill of health? Well, we've got Joe Ward back this week, which is absolutely massive for us because he's. Been missing since October, since due to a knee injury. So, mm. of course, he's one of the top assistants in the league, even though he's been injured. Mm. So that is a massive key boost for us. But we have not been out long injured, and not really much injury concerns apart from that. Mm. At Barnsley, uh, it just been released today because Michael left at his press conference. It looks like uh, J- uh, Jordan Williams, our right wing back, may be out. Is he got a slight uh, pull in his hamstring, which is a shame, really, because. Um, it'd been out for a 
for a bit with injury. He came back into the side and it made a difference with that attacking threat. Interesting for me, though, he played Benson at right wing back. And I'm thinking mm, that's a position he's, he's always been like a midfielder or attacking midfielder. But he played at right wing back in Crewe FA Cup and he scored a penalty. But what I was impressed with him is his pace. And I'm thinking, yeah, do you know what? It could be. It could be find another position there, kind of thing. It he seems to revel in it because as he were attacking and going, attacking the player via, they all was head cover. Either Luke Connell were dropping back or Tom Edwards was like moving another one. So it was something what had been worked on in training. So but for me, it's going to be interesting to see how we approach game against Peterborough to, uh, tomorrow. Um, I think that's the only injury concern. Obviously, we've got his long term injury uh, people like Conor McCarthy, Luke Thomas. Tedich has uh, been making bench and back. So I think it's going to be more or less a light for light what we did. Um, it's going to be interesting this because it, I think there's it's two teams on a, on an up in form, in, in a turning form. And I think it reflects on that league as well. Um, you are fourth and we are six and a point in it. But you look at form, t- form chart, form table, and it's more or less not far off with uh, one of the last three. You've lost your last two, but previous to that, you won your last three. So it's a, it's you know, it's a, it's a bit similar, similar. Um, again, for me, I think if obviously I'm going to say Barnes a win for me, but going to Peterborough away, I think if we go away and we get a point or a draw, you know, whether it be one one or two two, my, I think, I think. It's going to be a matchup for me, and I think it's going to be a decent matchup between Addison Mads Anderson. On uh, from from my perspective, I think Addison is a, a great player. He's always a threat, and although our defence has been pretty good, pretty solid, I think they need to be on it. Uh, obviously, with dangers from elsewhere on pitch, but I think Addison will be your key man. Uh, I don't know how you'll see it, Jacob going um, into the game. Well, it's going to be a tough one, but I back us at home. I don't back us away. Mm. You, you should never back us away mm. because we are atrocious away from home. At home, it's very different because we're our home ground, played football we want to. I think your key player, I think Devante Cole is going to be a bit of a threat up front. Mm. 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 Six goals this year. Of course, tall striker, he's a target man. I think... He, Considering we leak a lot of goals, you'll it will be looking to find one. Of course, as you said, Luke O'Connell used mm. to play for Celtic, didn't he? Yeah, he, he started off at Bolton and went to Celtic. Uh, he didn't really he found it a bit hard there. Went to Queen at South for one promotion, went back to Celtic, and basically they're just like, well, there's not much football, and he came back here, uh, back into England and played at Barnsley. And what I'd read and what I heard about him, kind of thing, I thought, yeah, there's a player. And it wasn't until pre-season, I'm thinking, yeah, do you know what? I, it's going to be proper workhorse. And what I find with Luke O'Connell as well is that he's always wanting ball. So he'll drop deep for it. He's wanting ball. He wants to dictate play like an older midfielder. But then when it allows, or if there's a, uh, a gap in midfield, he's not frightened to push forward, which he won a penalty against Crew. We, you know, he picked it up and went on run, got pulled down in box and won a penalty for us. So... For me, Luke O'Connell is a is a player that's improving all the time. And since he's been at Barnsley, he got recalled to Republic Island under twenty one, but unfortunately pulled up with an injury, so he didn't make it. So, for me, uh, Devante Cole, I agree with that. Um, beginning of the season, were a lot of fans not really cut, you know, sorted them out. But again, I think Michael Duff has seen it, and like he said, there six goals. So, is that confidence and belief? Uh, going to be an interesting game. Going to be an interesting game. Um, score prediction. What are you going for? This is going to be a good one. Well, we are at home. If we was yeah. away, I'd, I'd predict us to lose. But at okay. home, it would, it's going to be tough. I'm going to say 2-0 to us. Two nil. Two nil. I, I don't know why I'm back on a ski with being sheep. But, <laughs> but I think we'll get the job done tomorrow and get back to winning ways. Yeah, but uh, yeah, McCann will be wanting that as well, being at home uh, back to winning ways. Um, an interesting one, this I'm gonna go 1 1. I just think it's gonna be a, 
I'm hoping it's going to be a good game, but I just think it's going to be a tight game. And it'd be interesting to see if Alice does score score first, how we react. Um, because we, we never do well when we go, you know, down, uh, concede first, we never do well. And stats show that in league this season when we've uh, when we've gone one note down, we haven't, we haven't one out. So for me, it's going to be interesting how we approach it. I'm hoping it more or less goes with the same team that has been for the last few weeks, just for confidence, really, and understanding all be it from Jordan Williams, that's going to be a bit of a blow for us. But yeah, I'm going to say one one. I'm going to say one one, Jacob. So it's going to be a good game. Going to be a, an, an interesting game, and like I say, not many points in the table. So and then it's going to be into Christmas fixtures. So looking forward to that. I mean, FA Cup. What's your thoughts on FA Cup? Embarrassing. I went to I went to Shrewsbury game on Saturday. We were mm. absolutely dreadful. There was just no. Of course, we we conceded in the first minute. There was no mm. urgency, no passion. No really? of course, Did you make are, many changes in Batman, Jacob? No, we, we went full strength. Really? Right. Of course, we're in financial difficulties in a minute, so it's, it doesn't help. Mm, mm. But, yeah. of course, I've, I've been to a lot of... Where, I went to extra away. 2 one up in the 86th minute, lost 3-2, mm. which was horrible. Um, but, yeah, it'll, it'll be a close game, as you said. Yeah. Close game. Um, good game, but a close game. And... I'd like to thank you, Jacob, for joining me. As always, it's been a pleasure having you on. Um, it's been good talk, a good insight into things at Peterborough. Um, and, you know, it reflects well in the table. So, Jacob, as always, my friend, always been a pleasure having you on. Thanks very much. <laughs> Not a problem. Uh, people what's watching, please like, subscribe and share. Let us know your thoughts and comments. Uh, is Bounds going to find it a tricky, tricky away game tomorrow at Peterborough? I've got to keep an eye on Aris, you know, a man in form. We always know danger what he brings. So please like, subscribe and share. Leave your comments below. One thing left to say, you Reds.